guys. So I got the uh, new tour pack backrest in. This is what I was talking about, lower profile. Um, so it's not bad quality, nice and padded. Definitely not my taste, of course, because I have to match it with my saddleman seat and just bolt it on. So decent quality, but uh, about to go uh, get this guy to take these staples out and put on the new upholstery. And this little flap I was talking about, but yeah, this feels like pleather. Definitely not gonna cut it. All right, so I'll show you a video after it's done. Back at you with that update. Um, just got the new backrest in, um, the low profile deal I was talking about. About to take it to the uh, upholstery shop. So uh, pretty good quality and definitely need to replace that <laughs> big bolster thing that I have on there. And it's gonna take this uh, pleather <laughs> type material off vinyl and put that Saddleman skin on. The Saddleman skin is pretty sweet. It's also padded as well. This is has quite a bit of pad on it, but this also has the quilted pad behind the uh, the material itself. And of course, with the uh, tough Saddleman, I guess flap or whatever, dust flap, whatever you want to call it, it has small padding in it as well. Anyway, um, they're gonna get it back to me in a day or so. So uh, let you guys check it out when I get done. So uh, I did get the back rest back from the uh, guy, that uh, the upholstery guy, and he did a pretty good job. So it's all covered, got the good leather on there, the Saddleman, and this is the uh, back rest kit for the chop kit. And as you can see, I got the uh, King Tour Pack backrest on there. That's going to come off, and this is going to go on. Now, of course, I'm going to keep this just in case. Uh, I may even get it recovered because Saddleman does make a seat cover kit for that style of backrest. So um, this thing is nice and comfy, nice and cush, plenty of cushion. So And it's a lot more durable than this. So... Uh, it's still raining outside, of course. This is uh, Friday, and it's been raining for the last two days or so. If you looked at my last video, of course, you can see the review on the tour pack. Yes, let me set this to the side. And so I did clean it out. And I have to get to, uh, let's see these few screws over here so have to get to these screws here here and in the corner and of course the smaller one is going to occupy the center and the two holes there which I will probably have to drill through which I'm kind of afraid to do but uh, needs to be done and of course the holes that need to be covered where these screws leave off um, I believe they uh, plug them up with acorn uh, nuts or something like that so gonna get to the bottom of that but I'm not worried about it because it's not like I'm gonna ride in the rain or anything so let me try and get a better angle and get started on this all right so this is gonna be pretty cut and dry and all you need is a half inch socket to do this so let's get started and main thing is of course keep in mind this is form of plastic so you want to take it easy you definitely if you're tightening it you don't want to over tighten this and i'm pretty sure it can be cracked it's not like it's metal or anything and now um, let's see all right that's one and number two Loctite on this simply because it has locking bolts. All right, so this basically was just pull right off. Don't really have a lot of chafing and scuff marks here, 
but these will definitely have to be filled in. Well, this one won't, but these on the side, yeah, that's a must. So I'm gonna have to get some acorn nuts, as they say. This one will be covered. And of course, that one on the end. So as you can see, this one also has three nuts. So it's supposed to fit flush across the top here. Whatever hole that that may be. Now this is not as long, of course, because this is the king. So you're getting that extra few inches, two inches or so, which this would go perfectly on the tour pack. But uh, it definitely still looks better to me than that large thing for the king tour pack. All right, back at attempt part two. So I had to go out and get a step bit. And uh, yeah, this bit, I couldn't find my drill bit set. So I ended up having to go out and buy this little piece. So um, once again, I have to drill. Let me see, I don't know if you can see that. Here, where that little circle is. And right above here. And here. And of course, this these holes will be covered by the seat cover. Just have to fill in these here. Like I said, with some type of acorn nuts of some sort. So this is terrifying. Please bear with me. Uh, you know what? Let me go get an extra source of light just to make sure I can see all this. All right, so much better. Now let's get that center done. It's hard to get centered, maybe I'm just nervous. <laughs> deeper on those holes than I expected, but I uh, had to angle the holes up just a tad bit. So get this sucker bolted in. Just a second. Don't use power tools on plastic if you don't have to. <laughs> it only makes things worse. I had to learn that the hard way. Once again, make sure you don't over tighten. I probably should have some kind of torque wrench but I don't that should conclude our install so get all these shreds out that should be it with no casualty of paint <laughs> and uh yeah looks a lot better and so I went from this, which I can add and put back on at any time, to this, to match my seat and the rest of the bike. But went on pretty well, nice and tight, plenty of cushion. That's it, Hogwarts tool pack with the uh, Saddleman, <laughs> with the Saddleman chop tour pack recover kit and that's it so let you see what it looks like on the bike and uh go from there let's go all right fellas so this is the final reveal um the seat and everything came out perfectly and no that is not my car um before you even ask <laughs> so um 
backrest actually matches perfectly. Came down just about where I needed it to. Kind of like a little dust cover. But, uh, worked out pretty good. I'm happy, definitely satisfied. Low profile, it's a good look. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys an update. Appreciate you uh, for watching. Follow me on this little journey. More stuff to come down south down. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm happy. Looks real good. Everything matches perfectly. So, um, Salomon, I appreciate you. Hopefully one day you become a sponsor. Down south down, I'm out. Mm -hmm.